Hello, uh, I would like to talk about Railroad, a train dispatcher simulator. Uh, it's a game uh, heavily inspired by signal boxes. It's kind of software used for controlling the traffic uh, on the railroads. And we haven't seen any game with this kind of interface, so we want to create one. Uh, it's kind of unique approach to how to display trains and traffic and everything that goes uh, with it. Uh, currently, they, there are uh, two, ta two game modes, uh, timetable and the endless one. The timetable is uh, like the map uh, with uh, predefined uh, traffic uh, and you need to dispatch all uh, of the trains uh, and reach the high score uh, preferably. The endless one is like the core of the game. It's you are starting uh, from uh, from small and you progress through the map and expand, uh, upgrade your technologies, uh, and uh, yeah, you will see. I will be showing the endless one in the, the endless mode um, in this in this recording. Let's go into the game. Right, there is some kind of Falcom screen uh, that uh, should help you understand some basics, uh, but I will cover them uh, later in the recording. So, uh, build up the traffic by accepting the contracts. Uh, there are already some accepted. And uh, when you feel comfortable, buy new platforms and expand to new stations. There are currently two types of contracts, the recurrent ones and the one-off contracts. The recurrent ones uh, are like uh, repeating every hour and uh, the first train is called trial train uh, and that train will like define the timetable for you but I will show these uh, don't worry if you don't get that uh, I think it will be better to show you during the actual gameplay right so uh, right now this is the map uh, you see there are three stations in here but the map is much bigger uh, it's some kind of a real map uh, from uh, from Prague era Prague is the capital city of the Czech Republic that's uh, where uh, me and my friend we are two developers working on this game actually and uh, that's uh, the city where we live <laughs> okay uh, right now there is a waiting train in, in, in the station David so let's uh, let's click on the on the sign and we uh, see the train that it wants to go to the platform number two let's accept it uh, right okay this is the train it's uh, it's approaching the platform it's breaking the the, the, the speed is going down right uh, I will yeah, and it's stopping in the station. Okay, okay, we were delayed. That's not a good thing because I like uh, was talking at the beginning, right? That this game is about to be precise. Uh, okay, these are the signals. Uh, you can these are the switches. You can you can you can set them up, and when you click the signal, it will signal the green, right? Right now it's uh, it's a red. Uh, let's let's. Uh, run that okay and now the train you see the train is stopping at the signal uh, and we can actually prepare the path it wants to go to this station to the Bubni platform number two let's uh, let's go there okay we can speed up time more to be faster okay right now uh, it will want to go back to the day with platform number one. Uh, we can prepare the path for it, right? This will be the this one. And but the train is heading this way. You can tell by these slides. Uh, let's reverse the train for uh, now in this station. Uh, we can do that easily actually because the train has uh, two control units one in the front and one in the in the back uh, so it's just like uh, easy to click the reverse button and the train will go uh, the opposite way if there won't be a control unit in front the train would be pushed uh, by the locomotive at the back and there would be some kind of uh, speed limit applied to it so uh, but uh, that's just something uh, that needs to be taken care of later in the game, right? 
Okay, now there is another train waiting. It's uh, it's a freight train that wants to go to David's uh, right, and it will continue to this station, to the to the docks station. We can actually send it uh, to this platform, reverse it, and uh, go to the David's, or we can uh, do it uh, like uh, the easier way uh, and build some tracks in here. Let's let's do it right. Okay, now the tracks are here. And we got new two switches. Uh, let's set them up and send the train uh, to the docks station, right? Okay. Uh, and now uh, we see there are some uh, contracts um, offerings in here, so uh, we can check them. And that's actually where you can build up the traffic you will be operating and these contracts uh, will give you the rewards you need to progress okay uh, we got some uh, pretty same contracts in here let's uh, let's just choose uh, the the best ones i think these are all the same so that was the random uh, we got but let's leave maybe this one david sabubni david Sa, because these stations uh, we got opened, uh, unlocked, and we can operate them. Uh, and I think, like maybe we, if we if we look at the timetable for for the station, uh, David said right now, we see this train already is here, and we got some free space. So I think we actually can accept this contract right now to uh, to make some more money. Okay, when we accept the contract, uh, the first train is called trial train. It does not have the timetable yet, and uh, like how well we do the first train, uh, the, the the like the reward will be calculated based on the uh, on this train. So the faster the train uh, can go, the better the reward, right? and uh, the timetable will be recorded for this trial train and the, this kind of uh, recurrent contract uh, uh, will be repeated every hour yeah so uh, we will see this train every hour uh, uh, coming back to our plan uh, with the reward based how these first trial train uh, uh, yeah so, uh, okay, yeah, let's let's wait a little. We got another train wait, wait, waiting to be to enter the station, David. So, uh, let's let's accept it right right now. And now we got two trains wanting to share this uh, kind of segment. So I think like we will need uh, to do something in here, probably building more trucks in here and maybe actually uh, put some signals right and now we can do something like this yeah the train will meet in the middle and then we can send them uh, further to their destinations okay what uh, are we having in here it's same contract let's wait a little for maybe uh, uh, more of them uh, as I said, these are random, and you you, you can like uh, check what it's in there from time to time. When the train uh, is uh, like uh, without a delay, you are receiving a money reward that can be used to build more tracks or expand. Uh, this actually is the first trial train, so it can be late uh, actually, but uh, it will just uh, calculate the reward uh, we will be getting for that kind of contracts. Uh, so uh, we will see it in a, in a minute uh, or something. Yeah, the train will wait to uh, 25 in here. Yeah, I can actually uh, reverse this train by, by right uh, mouse button. Uh, it's same as I click this. Yeah, it's the mouse right button. And I will send it back to the day with the one. Uh, I could choose which one, which platform uh, I want to, uh, to record for this trial train, but uh, I will be using the 
platform number one for the returning trains uh, so I will have uh, easier time uh, when uh, when I will be automating uh, this uh, this segment okay and this is this it is this is the first uh, contract finished and we have been offered 2k averaged out of 4k so this this contract will be giving us a uh, two uh, uh, f f money. It's kind of good. Uh, like uh, why it's not full? Because uh, these tracks uh, are are uh, like limited to 40 kilometers per hour. You see, this train is going only 40 uh, 40 kilometers right now. And if uh, we uh, upgrade these tracks, uh, it could go faster, and actually we could be getting the full full reward. So when you progress through the game and unlock some new technologies or upgrade the tracks, uh, you can actually optimize your contracts. There is a list of active contracts in here. So this is the first. This is the new 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 contract we accepted. These were uh, accepted from the beginning, like uh, to make some kind of starting traffic, uh, right? So this is the first uh, contract uh, we have been operating. Uh, yeah. Uh, if the train uh, is without delay, you also uh, are receiving the experience points. Uh, you can see them uh, like in here as uh, listed as rewards, right? You also see them uh, when you're accepting new contracts, uh, and uh, these kind of these points are pretty important to uh, to progress or to uh, upgrade new things to build to upgrade or or you will see this is uh, kind of this uh, tree this uh, system upgrades tree there are four categories uh, controls automation okay, sorry contracts automation controls and interface this first uh, tab uh, it's like a uh, uh, this kind of uh, unlocks uh, are changing the way these contracts are generated like uh, uh, you will be offered a different kind of contracts maybe more variety of contracts as you see you can have uh, intercity trains freight trains uh, you can see some um, trains that will not go to the back to some border station right there are border stations uh, they are marked with uh, these uh, three dots and it means that the train is going outside of your controlling area so uh, uh, we call them border stations uh, right i will talk maybe uh, later about these these uh, are for the automation uh, like these unlocks uh, should to make your operation easier like uh, the more you have in the game the more more traffic you need to operate uh, uh, you need uh, like uh, some uh, kind of upgrades that uh, will make your job easier and uh, that's pretty this kind of category right these uh, uh, like uh, are unlocking your uh, your control uh, elements maybe some there is how much station uh, how many stations you can you can have or how how fast the, the track speed can be and also tunnels uh, there are, and these are like the special um, special category yeah let's see maybe i will accept some more contract right now we see this is the what we have this one is from uh, the station with Sochani it's uh, this station we actually maybe can think about uh, progressing or uh, expanding there or maybe we can expand to this station first uh, I'm not sure right now uh, let's decline these uh, for, uh, for a minute uh, 
yeah, we got the same space uh, in in the David. So yeah, let's do it uh, to make uh, more money and. Uh, uh, just I will continue with uh, with the explanation of, of the upgrades. These kind of upgrades are improving your user experience uh, with the with the control interface uh, you are using. It's uh, kind of uh, up, upgrades uh, to to something uh, uh, that uh, is uh, handy to have or, or or also helping you to to focus on what's uh, what's important maybe i i will show you like uh, one of these upgrades right now we don't have points for it but uh, like uh, for the purpose of this recording i will i will cheat a little right uh, i will uh, put me uh, 10 more points to, to just show you what kind of upgrades uh, will be in this uh, category uh, for example this is the the label of the train you see it's just saying the name uh, but uh, we can upgrade it uh, by this unlock uh, and that's mean that improved display of the train label common visible next every train number now showing all the information blah 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 yeah let's let's make it and now you see that's the label oh, it's improved it's showing more uh, for you so uh, if you have more trains on your or on your board uh, you don't need to click to see where the train is heading right now yeah you see it's going to uh, at uh, 830 36 uh, it's uh, arriving uh, departing to Bubni uh, any platform because it's uh, it's the trial train so the platform is not recording yet so uh, these kind of small upgrades like will help you to make the operation easier uh, as you see this actually can can help you like to to, to instantly see where the train is going the next uh, kind of upgrade can be the train enter button right I, I will unlock it uh, right now you see this is the overview panel let's let's check it in here I upgrade it and now I, I have a new button in here which uh, allows me like this train is waiting to enter the station let's uh, accept it so and it's here yeah you don't need to go to that station and click on the on the on the station sign so these kind of upgrades actually will improve your uh, your like efficiency or, or the ease of use of your uh, inter of, of the controlling the the the, the, the traffic and we have a lot of ideas uh, what kind of upgrades will be in here so like uh, we want to release regular updates to the game uh, in the early access and uh, uh, it will be a lot about filling these uh, all four categories with uh, with uh, new upgrades and we have a lot of ideas actually what can be in here but uh, yeah for for like uh, like you can you can have the picture what kind of upgrades these can be right uh, it's just uh, changing to your interface uh, and uh, like when one of the upgrade is uh, making you like highlighting the trains in this overview panel which needs uh, uh, the trains that needs your attention that's also handy so Right now you have only two, two trains on your board and it's easier to, to see everything but uh, you know imagine that you have the traffic all over there and here uh, and you, you will need to, to be able to, to see the important uh, events or uh, the trains that need your attention and uh, be like uh, more efficient. All right. Okay, uh, like uh, I could see uh, what I uh, want to do next right now. Uh, I would advise uh, uh, maybe unlock some of the freight contracts uh, or, 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 or something like uh, in the automation, the auto signals. Uh, uh, if I want you to, to buy new stations, uh, I need to spend some money on them 
uh, I actually can buy maybe these because these are really easy to to reach or we can go through these uh, blocks of tracks uh, somewhere like uh, more far away from from this station these uh, segments are called auto blocks and they are actually like some kind of distance in our in our plan uh, this one square in this uh, block is uh, one kilometer these are two kilometers but uh, this one square is uh, 100 meters uh, in the distance so uh, for for buying these we would need the automatic uh, routing unlock which is uh, this kind of routing we would need 10 uh, experience points okay we were awarded uh, one one k for for the new contract yeah that's, that's something uh, i think like uh, uh, what we uh, expected right okay but uh, it would be great to see some kind of uh, new contract Judy Holoshovitz or Podbaba and actually like uh, we need to wait a little uh, for for it this is there are different types of trains actually uh, as you see there this is the commuter train this is the intercity train and every train is uh, behaving uh, differently uh, and like the intercity trains are really fast and they want to go to to central station usually uh, but not uh, not always as now you can see that uh, there is a intercity trains that just want to go uh, this kind of uh, small loop in here yeah that's maybe what we can accept actually so if we unlock the port baba and this segment we can accept this kind of contract uh, let's decline this yeah, this is maybe f later for the game, uh, and yeah, let's let's make more money on this uh, particular segment. Yeah, uh, you actually can play your way. Uh, someone uh, want to expand as fast as possible to reach a lot of stations. Someone just uh, is focusing to maximize. Uh, this kind of just a smaller area of, of, of the traffic and maybe filling out full of these uh, these platforms you can actually buy more platforms in these stations uh, so uh, it's uh, a preference of uh, everyone uh, how they want you to, to progress I usually playing that uh, I want to go as fast as uh, possible to the Wilson station which is kind of central station where all the intercity trains are uh, heading to go uh, okay uh, oh these are like these are same but this one has bad rewards so let's keep it in here uh, and maybe we can we can think about it it means that we will need uh, more trucks in here right and we will need to buy this station and this auto block but we need uh, automatic routing for it it means that uh, th three more experience points uh, to be like uh, awarded this is the one right and uh, yeah it will be really we will be there in in a minute i i, I would tell and the next upgrade yeah, pot baba pupni pot baba. It's like uh, yeah, we can use the new station go door and back, uh, but the reward is pretty low. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to accept that. Maybe later. Uh, actually, like we can. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can reject the contracts uh, anytime. Uh, but uh, they need to be fulfilled by like you need to run all the trains that need to be run in that contract uh, right now there's uh, there's 10 uh, trains uh, needed to, to to be run uh, 
if you do not that, uh, there is a reject penalization for, for that train. After that train, 10 trains, uh, or like when the contract is fulfilled, you actually are able to optimize the contract by uh, by unlocking this kind of upgrade. And it means that the, you will run a new trial train and uh, that the reward will be recul recalculated. So when you uh, when you upgrade something in, in the segment, maybe the traffic will be like uh, better handled uh, or something or the automation will be in place and you will be faster in that segment. You can uh, you can actually optimize the, the contracts you already have uh, or you can just reject them and accept new ones, right? So uh, yeah, this one is better than the, the top one. Let's make that yeah this one is actually also good yeah i i would accept these two as as, uh, as for now uh let's just wait for one more more point to have and uh we will be fine and maybe let's let's just make one upgrade to this kind of segment yeah uh whatever you you build, you can remove or pull those uh, and you will be given all the money back. So it's kind of also the sandbox experience. Someone wants to find the best layouts. You can do that because we don't uh, we don't penalize uh, for, for, for rebuild, rebuilding. So uh, it's uh, easy to make, to, to change the layouts actually. So right now what I, down there uh, it's uh, like uh, I don't need to set these two switches I actually can just click these two signals uh, every time so I don't need to, to take care of these and it will help me somehow to be like don't need to to make uh, to focus on this kind of segment so so much okay right now I got the points for for the automatic routing let's let's unlock it uh, it's actually like the one thing is that it will unlock us the auto blocks but uh, I think the more important is that it also is unlocking the automated signals that set the way switches automatically you will see that it's a pretty nice upgrade sorry it's a pretty nice upgrade to have uh, and it uh, it's upgrading the the first signals in the game uh, to, to 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 better ones okay and when we when we will be running the yeah let's check what we got in here new state new new contracts david's and master brick station it's in here yeah we can we can unlock uh, this kind of segment and operate that uh but we will be doing this one uh in the Babney, we can choose. We can we can send it uh, uh, to this kind of platform, but there are a lot of trains coming from David's already. So I would advise to buy a new platform in here to make things uh, clear and uh, and like uh, we don't need to to be like cautious that everything is alright. Yeah, let's do it like this way. Or 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 maybe or maybe this kind of yeah this is not needed. We don't uh, need to go from Bubni to Docks actually. So uh, yeah, how to do that properly to make this kind of uh, junction work. Uh, yeah, that's kind of one, uh, it's, uh, one of the uh, you know, to, to design uh, the best, like the most uh, perfect uh, junction. Uh, and there's, uh, there's uh, Every time you you need to build something, there's um, there's no perfect solution. Actually, we we designed them up that way that the, the space is uh, limited uh, and you can have everything uh, what you want to 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 have to be able to 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 run uh, 
kind of trains you can actually do it like this and send uh, the train to bubni number three i would tell something like this right let's accept the train right now and it will be go yeah we haven't bought this one and we have insufficient funds but yeah let's solve it this great that was 4k we we need for this auto signal uh, auto block uh, you you can see this is the upgraded uh, this is the auto signal actually so you can see it's uh, working differently to uh, uh, to this, uh, I, I will show you, but there was no more, not, not switch, not any switch uh, in this kind of track. Let's let's just make some of them just to to show you. Yeah, this kind of switches. I will set them like this, but the the signal is working. Like you 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 select it, and you can select the destination where you want to go. So if you want to go there. And voila the switches are set automatically so this is the auto signal like it's uh it's easier to 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 to, to create a path with it than uh, with the manual signals where you need to to check the switches first and then uh, uh mark that signal uh, to be cleared so you can just make this and the train will go there uh, and the path is created uh, right okay uh, this one is going to dogs yeah let's do it uh, we need to be clear about this uh, crossing because the train could crash uh, in it because they're they're going uh, uh, one over another but uh, yeah I, I, I know that uh, this train will be faster so I could do that actually right and Okay, this train will go back to Podbaba, so uh, we will wait with uh, this one uh, for a while. Yeah, I don't want this. And yeah, uh, there were actually also the second uh, type of experience points, and they are awarded from one of freight contracts, one of IC contracts, and the contracts from the coach chart. So these three unlocks are unlocking the possibility to gain the red experience point. Uh, and, uh, and that's probably the unlock uh, I would want to unlo unlock now because uh, uh, we need the we need uh, the red points uh, for 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 advanced unlocks so uh, i think it would be uh, wise to to do like gather some of them yeah kind of uh, the traffic uh, when you when you like expand uh, in your in your in your map uh, the traffic will start to to be more uh, like uh, more complex, and uh, you will realize that y you can remember uh, like the, you are remembering the trains that are coming every hour, and the, you you know where they go, and the, you are happy that you remember uh, remember it, but. Uh, the situation is uh, kind of uh, different every time uh, because uh, you know you you accepting new contracts you are changing you you are making changes to your uh, mm, to uh, to your uh, layout so uh, it's uh, kind of the the situation is not same it's the same but different, yeah. Okay. You could actually like think about going uh, in this direction or maybe like wait a few more uh, five points and I would unlock, yeah, this is the new contract we were given 2000 out of six. That's uh, that's pretty good. For uh, whole show it say yeah, we would need for a new station. We would need to unlock uh, 
the upgrade to the station limit. So uh, right now we have three, four stations. That's actually the maximum uh, right now, and we would need more. Yeah, we got some some uh, money at our hand. Uh, let's let's use it uh, for for the upgrade. We can upgrade maybe this signal. Right, so I don't need to ch change the switches uh, every time I want to to send the train either to Docks or Bobney. Okay, we we don't we just don't want these uh, for now. Yeah, maybe I can I can run this one. Uh, right, so there will be these two trains. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it right now, uh, and we will see how it will be going uh, yeah we got some space in here right yeah i don't need to set the switches to actually uh, yeah i think we are fine with the train so it's the intercity train you see it has pretty high sp max speed but we are not using it on our slow tracks. Uh, we would need to to upgrade them, and the train would be faster. So yeah, we got one one thousand from it. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, there are new contracts. It's actually uh, we can check where we can go. Uh, not this one. Yeah, I would love to see some trains some contracts to Holoshovit so let's wait a little for it uh, it's some kind of random not like the full random because it uh, the, the stations that are close to you has some kind of priority so uh, it's uh, yeah let's do this and there is also like uh, maybe I can I can show you I, I will I will downgrade this one for a while it's uh, more of uh, the future of uh, of the auto signal is like you start building it and and it like it chains automatically so if you have them in you can just click the destinations and it's pretty easier so this kind of upgrades like uh, this is the type of upgrades that are helping you to make the operation uh, smoother and easier for you because uh, you know you don't need to to click this all the switches along the way so uh when you when you like uh upgrade the new technologies or or there are some kind of sensors you can build or or maybe auto accept trains for for the station uh so you don't need to 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 to, to make that everything manually but uh, you're like uh, can automate everything in 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 this segment uh, and just look at it how how well, it works. Uh, the automation is uh, a big part of the game, and uh, like with our designs, we want uh, everything to be like to be solved by the automation. So we want to like uh, whatever is in here, uh, we want to uh, be sure that uh, you can automate it uh, like fully without uh, the need of, of the manual intervention. Uh, that's some kind of gameplay someone also is enjoying like to make the automation perfect but uh, someone just uh, maybe can expand all over the board and then play on on, on the on the on the normal speed and just uh, try to dispatch everything like uh, and um, simulate actually the, the dispatcher job uh, that's why we call it the train dispatcher simulator, but it's maybe a more of a management or tycoon game uh, or something. So the, the one one uh, one way of how we how we will be expanding is uh, through the 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 controls uh, or the upgrades, uh, right? Yeah, we will be introducing new uh, new elements or mechanics. Uh, the first uh, plant, big uh, the the first uh, uh, bigger.
update will uh, uh, will introduce shunting uh, that's kind of that uh, the train uh, that uh, will end in 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 some the station inside your area uh, you will be able to to switch it to the shunt mode and shunt the train uh, somewhere like uh, yeah I, I i will cheat a little to show you right that uh, if there will be maybe the trains uh, ending in Masaryk station you will do some uh, kind of uh, tracks where you can store your, your trains uh, if the contracts is ending in here you will uh, shunt the trains uh, for some like the, the tracks uh, and you can use the, the train later for new contracts uh, uh, right now it's done uh, through the code chart uh, so uh, you you can build a new building code chart in here and the the, the, the trains that will end in Masaryk station need to be stable uh, in that code chart and then you can use that trains for for the traffic from that station but uh, the shunting will like move will move the code chart unlock uh, a little down so you will be solving that with shunting and you you can actually move train from one station to another in a shunting mode uh, so that's also some kind of uh, uh, what uh, can be expected in the game uh, when we will be releasing the updates uh, we also plan like uh, with the introduction of shunting uh, like uh, you will be able to deattach the the locomotive from the train and maybe like uh, uh, switch the sides you know if you if you have uh, intercity trains that uh, will go to Wilson station and back you need to turn it somehow like you can make a loop in here yeah you can you can make a, a something like like a loop uh, uh, that will uh, uh, make the train uh, reverse because you can't use the reverse uh, reverse button because of the control unit the locomotive is not uh, in the front and there, there there would be a speed limit so you can deattach the locomotive and change it or use some other locomotive that you have uh, uh, stored in here and use it and with this kind of uh, you know train composition or attaching and deattaching we will be introducing also a new game mode uh, called freight yard uh, where you need to take care of the incoming trains and and attach and deattach their cars to, to, to form new trains that are going uh, towards their destination so there also will be some kind of uh, new game modes uh, in in the in the game uh, all right i'm not sure if uh, there is uh, everything uh, covered maybe like uh, i could just uh, show you some kind of automation like like I will I will jump in the game or I will like uh, cheat some points in here and show you uh, like how the automation can be working right uh, so for 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 start uh, there's uh, there's also really useful upgraded it's calling the routing queue uh, it means that if I have um, kind of more signals yeah uh, and you know there is still train waiting in here and I want this one go to Dux I can like pre-plan it it's the routing queue and uh, when the segment will be freed this path will be created automatically and it's kind of a uh, uh, first step to, to also like helps you uh, how to be more efficient or you can actually uh, make the, the auto signal perpetual so uh, it's always green in some segments it's maybe it's really handy for these two uh, set them uh, to be instantly like prepared for, for, for the traffic and uh, like that you you have uh, some free hands uh, over these right but uh, about the automation all right i will sh just show you the departure sensor i don't have enough points let's cheat a little bit more and yeah 
here we go right now we can we can build a station sensor it needs to be on on the platform so yeah i don't have a money right uh let's uh, make more money you know and right now i got new sensor in this platform and i can actually like make the rotating table that if the train wants to go to Port Baba, yeah, uh, yeah, but there is no connection to Port Baba from this station, so I actually can select uh, anything, yeah, uh, doesn't matter. Let's let's uh, go back uh, and build, uh, or maybe like uh, let's just make some kind of connection in here, right? Yeah, now we got the. Uh, we got the uh, routing to yeah if I want to go to Port Baba let's go to the auto block right if I want to go to David so let's go in these and you can also actually set the others like that if they are not uh, in any kind of uh, category uh, do nothing yeah and there can be another yeah that the the station, the departure sensor, it's uh, like this something similar. You can also build, uh, um, uh, it's kind of floating sensor, right? Uh, I will cheat it as well to just uh, show you uh, the same and I can build it in here and you need to connect it to the signal and it it works like whenever the train is going over that se sensor it will send a signal to this kind of signal yeah it will send the information to the signal and like the sensor will control the signal uh, so I can just make it like if the, if the train wants to go to docks go there if it wants to go to Bubni uh, let's uh, go on this kind of uh, uh, track and right now I would tell like uh, yeah let's make this kind of perpetual and we can have this kind of uh, small segment somehow uh, automated right this is going to Bubni but I will send it to the platform number to 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 to, to showcase uh, this kind of uh, new automation in place so let's make it this way i will need some switches in here yeah this trade is going to the docks so this kind of sensor should be working yeah we will see right and it's was created automatically so we're happy to to go yeah this kind of signal should be automatic to to, 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 to let me go without the uh, need for switches right so let's go yeah this kind of train will yeah there was a penalty for a bad platform uh, that's uh, just money money penalty but we will still receive the experience point if we will be on time so we are okay uh, this kind of departure sensor also uh, turns the the, the train uh, uh, like uh, good to, to good direction so we don't need to care uh, for it okay this one the sensor is activated it sends that uh, the routing queue uh, right now is uh, it has uh, one and three that it wants go to the Babne sorry uh, so it will be it will be sent there whenever this kind of segment will be available right you see this was automatically created yeah let's uh, maybe we can uh, we can upgrade the auto, auto accept as well we don't have it uh, right now but uh, yeah I'm progressing really fast Not right now I can turn the auto accept on the Davids and the trains will be going there automatically and uh, I don't need to take care of it 
uh, any more suited trains will come. Yeah, you see this train is departing automatically thanks to this kind of sensor. Actually, with the automation, we have uh, also a big, uh, big plans to do. We want to introduce more sensors that uh, like uh, will uh, allow you to make more logic uh, inside it. Like you will be maybe chaining the the sensors together with some uh, end or, or or other logical gates, and uh, uh, you will be may be able to to to, to create more. Uh, complex automation rules uh, so uh, it's uh, also some uh, kind of gameplay you can ex accept uh, expect uh, uh, the automation uh, like uh, someone wants to play with it uh, he actually can right and maybe the, the last thing that has not been covered that there is uh, I will show you right now uh, let's uh, save this game and go uh, there is a uh, editor uh, you can create uh, a, a, the, the prac level was, was has been created in this editor so you can you can create uh, your 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 map uh, whatever you want and you are free to design uh, yeah let's build some platform uh, uh, you can design your your own map uh, and your own timetable and everything that goes with it, right? So you actually can create uh, uh, your map and share it with with the community. Uh, so that's that's uh, the good thing that uh, we want uh, users to be able to, to to make whatever they want. Yeah. So thank you for watching and. I see. Uh, I hope you you will enjoy the game and and uh, you will like uh, like the experiences as soon as we do. Thank you and bye.